Okay, here is a tiny little cabin. Next to it, another smallish cabin. Over here is a pretty small cabin. Over here is a pretty large cabin. So you see there is a rule, you have to make your cabins out of corrugated tin. Now this cabin at the end of this street is one of the bigger ones. It's, it's pretty large and expansive has outdoor stairs. You can climb up to the second story. We're gonna take this little cut through over here. Here's a cabin that was definitely added onto a couple of years ago. This one, you can see the two stories. There's a difference in the tin on the bottom and the top. So I just wanted to give you an idea of how close together the cabins are. And I've read various things that say 2,500 people come here, uh, all descended from the original families who came here under Dr. Bloys. So we're, I can take a picture of my shadow. There it is. All right, here's another two-story cabin. Some people even have names for their cabins. Um, the ground is not level, and there are little ruts, so you're likely to step in a hole if you're not careful. Another cabin over here in the shade. You can see cabins down below. See that one? Teeny tiny. Okay. We're coming up on the Cooper cabin, and another cabin that was built onto a couple of years ago. The side, see the relatively new look of that um, corrugated tin. Here's cabin number four, so it's been here a long time because our last cabin was cabin 440. That'll kind of give you a hint as how many cabins are out here. Now, if you see in the distance right there, cabin 208, that is the original heart cabin. Built in 1962 by Norris's dad, his grandfather, and his two uncles. So, before they even had a cabin, they came and pitched tents here. And if you can look right through there, you can see the top of Boyce Mountain. Okay, so we're talking about a cabin that didn't have these outside barriers on them. It just had the concrete slab and the little cabin behind it. Now during Blois, inside these metal doors are lifted up and attached to the ceiling, so it opens up this side of the cabin. So the people that sleep in this side of the cabin are sleeping in an open cabin. All right, so we're going across their porch, and then these two bathrooms were here originally too. Okay, one behind the tree here. Let me get a better angle. Okay, we are looking at the two original bathroom doors, the door into the cabin, the tree which grows up. Had to be uh, cut a hole through the roof to get it in there. And the two, cabin 208, which used to end right there. All right, that was 1962 when this part of the cabin was built. In, in 2000, this part of the cabin was built. It's called the expansion cabin. And here are a lot of Norris's construction equipment in our screen door that's gonna go on our building. And so they added this expansion cabin. The deck was not here at the time. This concrete right here was poured. And to get up into this cabin, you had to climb up steps. 